How's it going, you guys? AZPlyo21 back again with another episode of our UFC save in WMMA5. And here today, we have UFC Fight Night Fairtex versus Tiburcio 2. A big fight in our straw weight division. Basically, a title is going to be at, not a title is going to be at stake, but definitely a shot at the title is going to be at stake between Stamp Fairtex and Harika Tiburcio. We also got a bunch of other stuff going on on the main card. We're making our way towards UFC 304, Jones versus Shogun 3. The third time that Shogun and John Jones are meeting, this time for the light heavyweight title, unifying the title. Shogun is the current interim champion. Got three other title fights on that one as well. Gastelum and Vieira, Sanhagen and Almeida, and then Nama Yunus taking on Meirong Ho. That's going to be a big one. Our next episode after this is going to be UFC Fight Night, Harding versus Chieson. That is going to be for the UFC Women's Featherweight title. I, I, I'm done with the interim stuff. I'm done with Cyborg not making weight. We need a title holder. We need a champion. It's going to be either Harding or Chieson. We're going to do it. <laughs> That's going to be in Northern Africa. So the Egyptians can uh, celebrate watching a title fight over there. But for right now, we got Stamp Fairtex and Tiburcio. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our rankings. At heavyweight, you can see there Alistair Overeem jumping up. Philip DeFries, Sergei Pavlovich. They have a claim to the title as well. Uh, light heavyweight, Jacare Sosa is in the rankings. Love to see that. Uh, we are still doing our super middleweight Grand Prix. That is going to be amazing. Can't wait to see what ends up happening there. Darren Till hopping into the rankings. At middleweight, Alex Pajeda jumping into the rankings. Love to see that. Nothing at welterweight, super lightweight, always changing. I believe someone retired. Nothing at lightweight, nothing at featherweight, nothing at bantamweight, nothing at flyweight. Nothing at featherweight, at bantamweight, Sarah Morris hopping up to number 11, Kianzad down to number 17. At flyweight, Montana De La Rosa back up to number 5, Lipsky down to 7, Lubanska up to number 17. And then at strawweight, nothing going on. Let's go ahead and get it going. It is Fairtex versus Tiburcio. Let's do it. Appreciate you guys as always. Whether you're watching me on YouTube or Twitch, uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Also, be sure to follow me or subscribe on Twitch. Links are going to be down in the description below. You can also uh, help me out by subscribing to my Patreon if you would like to. Don't have any pa uh, patrons as of right now, but I would really appreciate if you guys got on that. Uh, Sergio Giglio taking on Jose Santiago at Featherweight. And it's Sergio Giglio getting the unanimous decision win in round number three. 20th win of his career. Magomed Magomedov taking on Yusuf Rysoff at featherweight. And it's Rysoff getting the win the 21st of his career. Rad Martinez taking on Robin Van Rusmalen. 22-7. A lot of experience on Martinez's side. But he gets knocked out by Van Rusmalen. 10-3 now in his career. 6-3 in the UFC. Pinguan Liu taking on Davey Grant at bantamweight. Davey Grant just got a pretty big win in real life, can't remember who it was against, but he gets TKO'd by Ping Yuan Lu in the first round of this one. Uh, Patchy Mix taking on Jakub Wiklash at 135, to looking for his 20th win, and he does get it. Unanimous decision, but a very poor fight from Patchy Mix. Oleg Borisov taking on Mark Bumblebee De La Rosa at the Bantamweight division, and it's De La Rosa getting a submission win in a poor fight. Borisov getting up there in age. Moving right along, Mario Batista taking on Khalid Taha in the Bantamweight division, and it's Khalid Taha getting the split decision this time around the 19th win of his career. Bruno Acevedo taking on Bokong Masan Yune, the flyweight division, I'm pretty sure. Super happy that I was able to kind of mess with my settings a little bit. And uh, I'm happy to announce that uh, no background noise, no fan noise. At least I don't believe so. Uh, Bruno Acevedo and Bokong Masan Yune. And it's Acevedo getting the split decision after three rounds. Julia Stoliarenko taking on Rada Zhuk. And it is Stoliarenko getting the knockout in round number three. The 17th win of her career. Got to give it up to Julia Stoliarenko Noguchi. Taking on Evelyn Joe in the flyweight division, our final prelim. And it is Noguchi getting the unanimous decision victory here today. The fourth win in her UFC career thus far. First main card fight, and it's a pretty good one. Calvin Cater taking on Ricardo Ramos 
in the featherweight division. And it's Ramos getting the knockout in round number one, the 22nd win of his career. You can see here a loss to Zabit, but a big win here today over the Boston finisher, Calvin Cater. Anton Viaz again taking on Stefan Struve in the heavyweight division. Big veteran is Stefan Struve, I say that literally, but he gets TKO'd by Anton Viaz again, a full seven inches shorter than him, but Viaz again able to get it done, ranked at number 22, and now he's on a nice, what is that, six fight win streak here in the UFC after losing his first two. That's a pretty big step up. Moving right along, Umar Nurmagomedov taking on former Bellator champion in Brian Buland at 135. And it's Nurmagomedov getting the first round knockout over the former Bellator champion. You would hope that he's going to be ranked next. Only losses are to Patrick Williams and Kakeru Fuma. Nurmagomedov getting it done. Nashrat Hakparas taking on Christian Lee, the young sensation. Uh, still fairly young, even in this save. 26 years old. You can see there, 8-1 in his UFC career on a nice two-fight winning streak, taking on Hakparas. And Christian Lee gets it done yet again. TKO win in round number two. Kids maybe two or three wins away from a title shot. Co-main events in the middleweight division, Toyoshige Hadaka, number five in the division, taking on Georgie Kitchigan, number seven in the division. Both these guys coming on very late on. Hadaka has no team, but it's Hadaka with the unanimous decision here today, the 12th win of his career. He's a perfect 12 and 0. <clears throat> you can see there, two wins in Pancrase, four wins in WEC. Brendan Mon, Brendan Leeser, David Branch, Theodoru Carvalho, Lovato Jr., and now another big win over Georgie Kitchigan. And he wants to fight Justin Berlinson. All right. Says he'll kick his ass for free. Uh, Stamp Fairtex taking on Harika Tabercio in our main event. Stamp Fairtex, former challenger for the title, lost to Nama Yunus, lost to Tabercio, and got consecutive wins over Amanda Hibos and Tatiana Suarez. Meeting up with Tabercio once again. Tabercio looking to fight for the title, but she has to get by Stamp Fairtex once again. Whoever wins this one will fight for the title. It is our main event of the evening. Let's go ahead and get it going. Your referee is Herb Dean. Tabercio looking to grapple, it looks like. Tabercio with a straight right hits her, I should say. Right cross landed hard. Tabercio backing off. Siding kick to the legs. Right head kick. Tabercio goes down hard and she is out. Your winner by knockout. And now once again, the number one contender for the title is Stamp Fairtex. Three straight wins, three big wins. And now Stamp Fairtex once again lays claim to the straw weight title challenge. Only 760 in attendance in South Africa. Still got a good commercial rating though. Gotta love it. Uh, probably lost a lot of money on the card though. Let's see who we're giving out some bonuses to. Any fantastic fights? Not really. A great fight between Nagushi and Joe. Yeah, we'll give it to the ladies, Nagushi and Joe. Uh, any first round finishes? We got Fairtex. We got Nermago Medoff. We got Ramos. Let's see. We also got Pinyon Lu. And that's it. Let's see how much money we lose. We actually gain about 600k. Okay. Um, highest paid fighters include Stamp Fairtex and Ho Toyoshige Hadaka. That's going to do it for this one. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'm AZPlyo21. And I will see you guys at the fights.